Good morning, healthy actors. I'm going to just run through a quick lymph jam. It's going to be freestyle. If you haven't looked at any videos about lymphatic health exercise that I've done, your guide to lymphatic health exercise playlists on Facebook or YouTube, then have a look at those as well because that gives a bit more, that's the insight behind lymphatic health exercise. Otherwise, any movement's good. But if you're looking to improve your lymphatic system uh, or look at improving something generally about health, um, then or just yeah that kind of stuff, then just have a have a look at those ex those, those videos because they they help to inform the practice why lymphatics is healthy, how it works with the health, and why getting moving is good and theory informing the practice and all of that sort of stuff so um just gonna start off by just changing the camera angle <laughs> and just gonna shake a little bit first of all always find breathing through the nose mouth shut tongue on the roof of the back of the mouth tip of the tongue on the back of the teeth helps keep us breathing down into our belly Keep it light, less gushy. You can either do small, tiny little breaths like or you can do long, slow, wider ones. As long as the air is controlled in a way which is relaxed but light and not gushing. So I'm just going to shake a bit first of all. Just like to wake up the body slowly, lightly. Everything's relaxed. A little bit of rubbing on the skin to get all the cells moving on the outer parts of the body and the skin and the muscles tapping into the bone. Getting it all shifting and moving, old for new. into the webs of the fingers, into the thumbs, spinning around. Really helps to wake up the energy down into the arms. It relieves the really stress of the head as well. Tapping into the arms, tapping to the wrists. On the inside, tap on the both of the outside of the wrists, just below the crease of the hand. So it's soft. Nothing should be sore in terms of creating aches or pains. If it's staying the same, if you have an ache or pain and it's staying the same, then that's all right. But you know, you've got to be not aggravating things too much. Whatever you're comfortable with and what you're feel is usual is okay shaking off rub in between the fingers stretch down the, the fingers nice strong grip but loose running down tractioning as they call it stretching lengthening all the fingers sliding strong flick at the end flick shake 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 and hormone, positive hormone production. Let's see where we can go. Stretch and lift, keeping the knees and the hips straight and forward, just waking up the, the mid back and the spine, bouncing to wherever it feels free to the spongy point and just stretch, 
just bounce into it lightly. No, no creating extra stiffness. Just go where it's completely free. If it's small, then that's fine. If it's wider, then that's fine. Freedom. Explore the freedom. Get the flow going within the freedom range. A bit of a windmill. Arms. I'm just going with whatever comes to mind. You can do doubles. Breathing lightly. Just rub the face. Nice sort of strong, firm rubbing. Power of the nose, around the sinuses. Tapping the head, scalp. Heavy but loose, comfortable but strong as possible. And back of the head, tapping down size of the neck again strong but loose fists uh, wrists and loose wrists strong fingers or we can joist joist rest here rest here tap cup into the previous lean back slightly loosen off the muscles if we lean forwards they tighten up a bit Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Congratulations. Well done for getting this far. Lovely. Oh, it's good to get into those trapezius area. Shoulders and neck, the back. Scalp scratch. Shake it off. Light breathing, nasal breathing, belly breathing. Bit disco hips. So I'm, I'm bobbing. It's a short, sharp, sharp catch. Push up, catch, push up, catch, push up, bounce. Increase. I'm going to loosen everything and let go of the shoulder a bit and then just flop about. Let that vibration travel up into the shoulder region, loosening off the shoulder muscles. Football kicks, loose, loose, loose ankles, just let them flop about. So I'm using your knee and leg muscles to flick. Just like when here as well, it's just really loose. Just loose wrists, use your elms. Flick, flick, flick. Bit of um, springing through the calves. The toes are on the ground, the heels are bouncing. So you've got your nice sort of soft land on the heels. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Vibrations coming up all the way through. Let go of your shoulders again, whatever's comfortable. Breathing slowly. Breathing in slow now. Breathing out slow. Breathing in slow. So we can put the hands around the, here, drop the, through the knees a little bit, lots of space for the pelvis to move, breathing in slowly and side bending. 
pushing your head back into the lightly, into the hands, in and out, and again, nice stretch, opening up all of the diaphragm on the side here, ribs, and out, and then in. more times. Drop the knee, the knee drops, stretches all the way down through the hips. Let's do wide legged. Sort of bobbing, but we're dropping our head a bit, letting our arms fly out. And then swing back up, breathing in lightly, mouse breath, Shake off. What I like to do is step back, stretch the calf, reach up and round, and twisting and reaching away from the, the heel. So it's like a twist and curl. So back, swap back, and the calf is stepping and squashing, reaching away with the hand. Ooh, a nice stretch all the way down the side. Breathing in. Don't let all the air out. Swap. Breathing in. Don't let all the air out. Breathing in. Relax. Maybe start bringing the other, the opposite hand away. We're twisting and turning. Maybe stepping out to the side instead. Seeing where we go into that end range, but not pushing it. Tense the muscles at the end. Push away, flossing. Floss. Floss. From heel to hand and hand to hand. Stretch away. Light, strong, loose, purposeful. A little bit of tapping now. It's a classic back twist. Letting the hands just tap the belly and the lower back. Go lower to just on the front of the hips there. And locking and locking the knees lightly. Short, sharp, shock version. Let it all go. Mouse breath. Small, tiny, light, nasal. Curl forwards a little bit if you want. Go backwards slightly, just explore but don't push. Come forwards. The upper arm there, where the sergeant stripes are. Tap, tap, tap. A bit longer and slower now. Stepping out. 
letting the car flush. Step. Step. Twisting longer and slower. You can go long, slow, or mid range and fast. Protect the joints. Longer and slower and wider. Or fast, short, sharp shock. Or mid range. Reaching up. Tiptoes, reaching up. Hands up all the way. Then drop down with the heels, keeping the hands where they are. Place the hands towards each other, the palms, bring the shoulders down. Nothing pushing too hard, just be comfortable in a, a tension position. Explore the back again, leaning forwards or backwards, swaying, bamboo, just left or right. Explore the tension, reach up, drop down with the heels again, bring the shoulders down, strong, hold, breathing. And out, and then let go. Twisting, root the feet, twisting, keeping the torso relatively straight, bouncing, short sharp breaths. We start to move the hands and twist the head and the upper shoulders the opposite way. Bigger breaths, but just light as possible. Flapping. Almost like star jumps. Star pumps. And then down into the squat, pray your hands together, push your knees into your elbows, give your pelvic floor a squeeze and relax, and from side to side a little bit, explore tensions, and freedom of motion, drop you forward, breath in, relax, squeeze the pelvic floor again, You can go as low as you like, or as stay as high as you like. A little bit of squeezing here, pushing the elbows and the knees together at the same time, but letting the knees go out. Squeeze. Help yourself up on your knees. Let's tap the Finishing off with a bit of tapping in the lower legs. Arms. Heavy but loose wrists. Onto the thigh bones. The biggest bones for creating blood, red blood cells in the body. A 
bit of tapping on the lower ribs and on the liver. And in the front, chest. Lower back, moving forwards a little bit. Nice and heavy, as comfortable as possible. Buttocks. And then bringing it back. Notice they switch off a bit and get into them further. Play around with that. Rubby belly. Finally, a couple of breathing techniques. Finish off. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Open, close. The monkey playing the accordion, CNS. Shake spine. Wherever's comfortable. And then, just drop through the knees slightly, feel where the belly is, give it another rub just to explain where the muscles are to your brain. There they are, you want to fire them now so you can suck them in, let the air just fly out through the nose. If it's sensitive there, don't do it or do it very lightly, just more of a gentle squeeze. Finally, just drop through the knees, then bring them back up so they you feel floating but not not locking back your knees. Roll the shoulders back, open breath out, breath in. Just let the arms just drop. Let the head just float. Let the chin just drop slightly, open up the spine at the back, but not too much so we're holding ourselves. We want to float, so roll up the Breath in, into the heels, balance point, unlock the knees slightly, tilt the chin, breathe down into the belly, let the arms just flow outwards or inwards or, or the shoulders have rolled back and then just drop and let them, let them naturally fall where they fall. Enjoy what you've just done.
the air. Just let it fall into a natural breathing in point. Fall out slowly. Reach out, step close together, slightly closer, not fully close together, reach out, drop down, and final breaths, strong arms pushing away from each other, hands away. down. Fast movements, just as important as slow movements, and slow movements are just as important as fast movements. So that's it for now. I hope you had a good one. Um, let me know what you got from this. I'd love to know what other healthy actions you might be getting up to today, and if there's anything I can help with. You can send me a message if it's personal um, to do with health, moving, breathing, eating, sleeping, thinking, feeling, expressing and connecting, um, anything, then let me know. And also, yeah, I'd love to know what you get out of this. So speak soon, take care, have a good one.